a gracious good day to one and all once again tis i norton the first by grace of god emperor of the united states and protector of mexico back with you once again for episode number 53 of emperor norton's fantastic history vlog today is may 25th 2020 memorial day and a lovely day here in san francisco it's in the upper 70s to low 80s for the first time in a long time so people are in their backyards today because we are practicing social distancing here uh enjoying the gorgeous day a slight breeze is blowing hopefully not enough to be picked up by our ultra sensitive imperial microphone and we are hoping to enjoy this day further in just a few moments but We've got some history to talk about today. By the way, if you did not see Saturday's vlog with the Countess Lola Montez of Lansfield, it was a hoot and a half. So <clears throat> make sure to check that out. It's always great on a Saturday and it was especially good on this one. Well, let's get on to our historic events. And of course, today is ketchup day because we have to cover Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, we begin with May 23rd, 1901. President McKinley breaks ground for the Dewey Monument in Union Square here in San Francisco. It commemorates the victory of Commodore Dewey in the Battle of Manila Bay in the Spanish-American War. Now, although he broke ground in 1901, he would be felled by an assassin's bullet later on that year and was not able to uh, do the dedication, therefore, which was done by his successor, President Theodore Roosevelt. And maybe some point when a date is pertinent to it, we'll talk about who the statue is on top of the Dewey Monument. If you happen to know, leave it in the comments below. On May 25th, 1939, the Golden Gate International Exposition opens. Commemorates the uh, building of the, and opening of the Golden Gate Bridge and the Emperor Norton Bridge. It uh, was held over for a second year in 1940 as well, and uh, it opened on this date that year as well. Now, it was built on a man-made island named Treasure Island, which is uh, attached to Yerba Buena Island, the Bay Bridge, Ooh, where the Emperor Norton Bridge goes through a tunnel and later became a naval base is now being developed into a whole new part of housing for San Francisco. We might talk about that later on as well. It was the last of the three World's Fairs to come to San Francisco. Of course, the first one being the 1894 Winter Exposition held in Golden Gate Park and the 1915 Panama Pacific International Exposition held in what we now know as the Marina. Well, let's go on to our other historical events today. Let's start off with May 23rd, 1785. Benjamin Franklin announces his invention of a bifocal picture. I happen to be wearing a pair of, oops, happen to be wearing a pair of right now. Of course, we know that Benjamin Franklin was the only president of the United States who was never president of the United States. 1922, Walt Disney incorporates his first film company, Lapogram Films in Los Angeles. 1934, American outlaws Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow, Bonnie and Clyde, are killed by police in an ambush in Louisiana. 1956, on this day, on sorry, May 23rd, the World Trade Center is dedicated in the Ferry Building in San Francisco. You know, the Ferry Building was nearly torn down to build that World Trade Center, but they housed it inside. 1960, Israel announced the capture of Nazi Adolf Eichmann in Argentina. 1969, the British Broadcasting Corporation announces orders for 13 episodes of Monty Python's Flying Circus. Anyone for some spam? 1980, the horror film The Shining, directed by Stu Stanley Kubrick, is released starring Jack Nicholson, and Shelley Duvall, and someone else we'll talk about later on, based on a book written by Stephen King. One scary movie, isn't it? Here's Johnny! 1994, Star Trek The Next Generation finale airs this week in syndication. Let's move on to May 24th, 1830. 
Mary Had a Little Lamb is first published by Sarah Josepha Hale. It's fleece as white as snow. You'll understand that uh, Mary also had a little bit of beef, a little bit of chicken. 1844, Samuel Morris taps out what hath God wrought in the world's first telegram message. 1866, Berkeley, California is named for George Berkeley, the Bishop of Coyne. Uh, pardon me if I mispronounce that. In 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge is opened by President Arthur and New York Governor Cleveland, who later become a president himself. 1902, Empire Day. <laughs> That's September 17th. Oh, in Britain. Well, nonetheless, it is an empire. 1964, the Beatles' third appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show. It was their next to last, last time being in 1965. On May 24th, 1974, the 27th Cannes Film Festival, the Conversation, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, wins the Grand Prix du Festival International du Film Award. Pardon my French, I don't pronounce it very well. Uh, that is one incredible San Francisco movie. If you've never seen it, seek it out. It's just a fantastic movie. Where, where are we here? Well, moving on to May 25th, uh, not 1787, the Constitutional Convention opens in Philadelphia with George Washington presiding. 1878, Gilbert and Sullivan's comic opera, HMS Pinafore, premieres in London, their first international success. 1895, Oscar Wilde is sentenced to two years imprisonment for gross indecency. That was a gross indecency. 1948, San Francisco receives its first telecast. 1961, JFK announces the U.S. goal of putting a man on the moon before the end of the decade. Now, you remember his speech that he gave about that? He said, we choose to go to the moon and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. What was the other thing? Actually, it's other things. Um, so another trivia question for today. for today. Leave your answers below. I happen to know the answer to that. I looked it up a long, long time ago. I always wonder. This date in 1977, the original Star Wars movie opened, Live Long and Prosper. And in 2011, Oprah Winfrey aired her last show in a 25-year run. Well, let's get to our births uh, from May 23rd, 1883, after Douglas Fairbanks. 1908, John Bardeen, who knows, he was an American physicist, electrical engineer, and co-inventor of the transistor. We owe a lot to him. 1910, Scatman Crothers, who was in The Shining, of course. 1928, the singer Rosemary Clooney. 1934, Robert Moog, the Moog synthesizer. And 1958, funny man Drew Carey. Let's move on to May 24th, 1686. Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit was born that day, of course, the inventor of the thermometer. And Fahrenheit temperature, which is uh, really being phased out everywhere except here in the United States. I estimate it's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit today. Don't ask me, Celsius. I'm from here. I don't know how to do that. Uh, 1819, Queen Victoria. Happy birthday, Vicki. 1941, Robert Zimmerman. You know, Bob Dylan. Ooh. 1943, actor Gary Berghoff, but uh, he probably already knew that in advance. He was really all on that. 1944, songstress Patti LaBelle. 1945, Priscilla Presley, actor, of course, ex-wife of the king himself, Elvis Presley, although I thank you very much. 1955, another musician, Roseanne Cash. May, moving on to May 25th, 1803, Ralph Waldo Emerson. 1878, Bill Bojangles Robinson. 1929, the great operatic singer Beverly Sills. 1931, the wonderful actor Sir Ian McClellan. And 1944, Yoda himself. Uh, endless voices uh, for the Muppets and a film director as well, Frank Oz. Is he still voicing Yoda? I'm not sure about that. Maybe you know. I don't. 
Let's move on to our deaths this day. Well, first of all, May 23rd, 1701, William Kidd, Scottish pirate, was hanged at uh, London's execution dock at about the age of 56. 1868, American frontiersman Kit Carson, 1906, author Heinrich Ibsen, 1937, John D. Rockefeller, 1975, Jackie Bonds, maybe, one of my favorites. Speaking of comics, 1981, George Jessel, the great comic and postmaster general, and 2017, one of the James Bonds, Roger Moore. Sorry for me, it's always going to be Sean Connery. May 24th, Nicholas Copernicus, the Polish mathematician and astronomer who theorized that planets revolve around the sun. 1974, the great band leader, Duke Ellington. Moving on to May 25th, 1919, uh, was the death, death date for Madam C.J. Walker, whose real name was Sarah Breedlove. She was an African-American entrepreneur and the first self-made female millionaire. It was a wonderful movie about her on Netflix. Uh, I think it was starring Viola Davis, I don't remember, right? Not sure about that. Saw it recently, don't remember. Well, that wraps it up for today. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside. If you go outside, wear a mask, practice social distancing. Be smart, don't be stupid, don't take unproven medications. Be kind to one another. There's not enough kindness in the world today. Oh, I forgot to mention today's featured bonsai. You probably can't see it. This is a lovely stone pine, the Imperial Bonsai Collection. Until we see you again, a gracious good day.